In today's wrap-up, Vahram Avedisyan, a candidate for Armenia's constitutional court, has refused the position. The tourism sector in Artsakh has experienced a significant decline. Armenia is developing social assistance and integration programs for Lebanese Armenians. And former president Serge Sarkisyan is to hold a press conference. One of the candidates for the vacant positions on Armenia's constitutional court, Vahram Avedisyan, has refused the position. The government had nominated Avedisyan after passing constitutional amendments which forced the retirement of three judges of the court who had served for more than 12 years in total. He added that his approaches and ideas about the depolitization of the constitutional court were not in line with those of the members of parliament from the ruling MyStep parliamentary faction. Artsakh's tourism industry has been growing in recent years. But with the onset of the global pandemic and the restrictions on travel between Armenia and Artsakh, the sector has been squeezed. Sivunet's Artsakh team hit the streets of Stepanakert and visited its hotels to find out what's the current situation for this sector in Artsakh. They spoke to Artak Krikoryan, the head of Artsakh's tourism ministry, who said, Between January and June of this year, there was a decline of 82% in international tourism. In terms of tourists coming from Armenia, the decline is similar. Other tourism specialists added that it will be a long time since the sector recovers in Artsakh. They also spoke of the assistance programs being propagated by the government. An English version of Sivilnet's Artsakh team's report on the tourism sector in Artsakh will be available shortly. The Minister of Labour and Social Affairs, Zaruhi Batoyan, has stated that the Armenian government is working on developing social assistance and integration programs for Lebanese Armenians, wishing to repatriate to Armenia. Batoyan added that Armenia should not make similar mistakes that were made with regards to Syrian Armenians who came due to the Syrian civil war, with many eventually migrating on to other countries. Batoyan has thus confirmed that the programs which will be set up will hopefully provide Lebanese Armenians with the necessities to allow them to work, live and set up their lives in Armenia. Former President Ser Sarkisyan has announced that he will hold a press conference on the topic of the 2016 April War. After attending an inquiry session at the Armenian Parliament regarding the war on April 16, 2020, Sarkisyan stated that he will hold a press conference to provide more details on his government's actions during the four-day conflict. The April War was a four-day-long intense period of skirmishes between Armenian and Azerbaijani forces on the line of contact in Nagorno-Karabakh. This will also be Sarkisyan's first press conference since his resignation in the midst of the 2018 Armenian Revolution. Sara Anjar Golyan is the Chief of Staff to Zare Sinanyan, Armenia's High Commissioner for Diaspora Affairs. She just returned to Armenia from a trip to Beirut, following the massive explosion on August 4th. The explosion significantly impacted Armenian areas of the city, causing substantial damage to communities, businesses, educational, cultural and media institutions. Anjar Golyan spoke with Sivilnet's Ani Paitian about the situation in the Lebanese capital, the mood of the Armenian community and their growing desire to move from Lebanon to Armenia. Earlier I spoke to Ara Vasilian, the Armenian General Benevolent Union's Director of Schools in Lebanon. Recently, the AGBU managed to raise $2 million in only a few days with regards to their Lebanon Relief Fund. Vasilian discussed this as well as the current situation of the Armenian community in Lebanon, other AGBU initiatives and what he thinks about the drive to have Lebanese Armenians repatriate to Armenia.